Hello, hello everybody, it's Rob Profchop, and we're back again with some more gun videos. This is the worst internet gun fails 11 brother Darwin Awards by Brandon Herrera. Of course, let's go. Even though the clips that we're going to show you oh, today have been censored bad. if needed, of course, yep. to comply with YouTube guidelines, of course. and are used for the purpose of educating people on proper Exactly, firearms. YouTube. Let's still just hope that this professionals. video doesn't result in an angry letter from YouTube. Oh, hey, a letter! Does. I have friends! Oh, that's not a letter, that's a threat. So anyhow, back to Idiots with Guns. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could come up with a better oh, title God. for this first video we, if mm, I tried. I can't read that word. Swing's gun around. From TikTok. Okay, so this video uh, oh, is oh, right. oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Bro, I'm afraid to play the rest of this. He pointed the gun. Head. You don't do that. You just don't do that. Flagging the shit out of himself, the camera guy, and anyone else around. And in general, it's just Bro. kind of acting like an asshole. Oy. Flagging, for those of you who don't know, is a safety violation where you're pointing the muzzle of a fire Bro. at yourself or somebody else. You yeah, dude's already being an idiot. Oh my if god, with that, someone would with that limp wrist of his. Come around and put an end to this fatherless behavior. Gucky. And the police come along and do just that. Oh my god! I wonder what I okay, mean so if he has document for that. Faked for TikTok for like three reasons. One, I just hope that he's not this stupid. Probably it's Two, not a real gun. He's just kind of swinging that gun around feels a bit exaggerated. Maybe he's just a bit. I mean, maybe. Yep. Nowadays, three, almost everything's fake. Biggest one. Holy fuck! Are those cops chill for rolling up on somebody who's just waving? A Plus, what are they wearing? I've never seen cops like this. Fucking gun around out the window. What are like, a lot no green? guns drawn or even like hands-on guns. That is assuming cops carry guns wherever this country is. They just casually roll up. Like, excuse me, sir. We'd oh, like, like green to take motorcycle. A to That's weird. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I mean, still. Just Goes to show Don't that everybody on social media is head. a badass until the moped police show. <laughs> now this one is actually user submitted. So oh, thank you to shit. the guy who emailed me this video and said that we could use it. So these are some friends doing some range practice. Some Taking turns drawing from a holster and engaging their target. Sounds nice. good, right? Well, normally yes, but one of these guys ends up Tex Grebnering himself. Some what? Remember Tex Grebner? We covered him in the first Darwin Awards video. Well, it's Tex. Tex. Just fucking shot myself. <laughs> now that's a video you would have seen had you been a long time subscriber. <laughs> I don't know if I saw that. I don't channel. remember. But not to worry, you can fix that right now by subscribing. And sure. if you want to catch these now videos when they first so. come out, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Yeah, the guy draws from his holster, engages the target, oh, God. goes to reholster, and that's when oh discharges around. Did he hit himself? Now I have to admire everybody's calmness about the situation. And stop myself in the foot, guys. I mean, if he hit himself in the foot, the good thing is that uh, he couldn't have hit himself in the thigh, which is the big problem there. So yeah. he should right. well, mostly well, survive, well, probably well, almost well, certainly. Girls screaming and freaking yeah. out, making things worse. And that goes for both genders, by the way. It's just identifying the problem, communicating the problem, and, and then going him to a hospital. Thankfully, of all the places to get shot, the foot is not the worst. So with any luck, they had a first aid kit on site, and this guy Ugh. made it out with all of his toes. And, and that's good. That's carefully reholstering. Yeah. I mean, how did he shoot that? Uh, oh, he probably still had his finger on the trigger. Why? Stop thinking about uh -huh. the fact that some of you right now are watching tendencies so i'm going to show you some millennials ruining things by stunting for clout on social media oh, God. so here we have a guy at a public range oh, shooting fuck. oh these scary shit out of me i hate these i've seen one where a dude actually shot himself in the head and i think i'm traumatized handgun but first gotta take a couple selfies for the gram all right he's pointing oi, a gun oi, at the camera oi, oi, and oi, oi. Kind of his own i don't know collarbone area which is already just Bro, if you shot yourself okay, in the you collarbone, oh my god, if you move through the whole bone, that'd be such insane pain. Thing in your shoulder Holy. likes to bleed anyway. Oh my but after that, god, he yeah, hell nah. Thing hell nah. Points it at his buddy's fucking face. His buddy's just like, dude, I'm trying to load magazines over here. I don't care how long I've known you, you point a gun to my fucking head. Yeah, we're not friends anymore. Bare minimum and ass beating. Yeah, Luckily, the RSO absolute or safety officer Brother. sees this, quickly jumps into action. By the way, you know what I noticed from going to the gun ranges? Loading ammo inside of the clip, inside the thing, it's not that easy. Bro, they make that shit look easy. So I tried that shit, I mean, I did it, but it was not easy, especially the first time. Action and <laughs> takes control of the firearm. It looks like he then that guy deserves them nice range, which yeah, I hope good. at bare minimum he good. did that, as well as give them the that guy's a moron. I mean, life okay, tank. the friend didn't do anything. Like, that guy's only problem in life is that he has asshole friends. If you've ever been to bars, you know this dude, the asshole friend. 
Now's a pretty good time. Get rid of them. Four basic rules of firearm safety, I think. You treat every weapon as if it is loaded. Yes, don't name it if you have. Anything you're not <laughs> or a ball to destroy, sack. Including, at least theoretically, I've yourself and your friends. Unload you know the gun. your target and what's behind it, and you keep I'm your wrong. finger off of the trigger until you are ready to shoot. If I can sear nothing else about firearms into your brain, remember those four things, and you'll likely be okay. Yeah, you're Honestly, professional. Honestly, like this are why when I'm teaching somebody about guns at the range for the first time, I prefer them to actually be a little bit afraid of the gun. You and I know that guns are nothing. Bro, first time I went to a gun range, I was fucking afraid. I didn't know the recoil. I don't know how much. Bro, guns have recoil. Like, handguns suck to shoot. Movies make them look like a fucking marksman rifle peeping people quick shotting motherfuckers from a hundred guns like handguns suck ass. I like the Makarov though. That one was my favorite handgun. Pretty but nice. Somebody's got no recoil. Somehow. Or fear a small about gun. It shows that they Crazy respect shit. it and they're not going to treat it like a toy. I fucking hate it when people have shot a gun like once in their life at grandpa's when they were a kid. <laughs> but then they feel like they have to be this badass and show you that they know everything about guns when they really have no clue. You're not a friend like that. Fr that is my bit. least favorite kind of student. Frankly, I just won't fucking do it. But of course, now that I say that, sometimes being afraid of the gun can lead to some scary situations too. Maybe so don't be too afraid. Oh that god. Straight out of live leak. It's a girl shooting a gun for That's what a girl? I'm assuming is the first time given how her ear pro look and the fact that that gun is angled like she's trying to assassinate the ceiling. Now she fires the guns, she <laughs> tenses up, her ear pro falls off. Oh god, oh, and that happens. Yeah. She starts waving the gun around, uh puts it up next to her head. Oh yeah. Okay. So the her. weird thing is that when I first shot, the instructor guy was always near me, especially when I first shot. So it's kind of weird that she doesn't have somebody near her when she, they're explaining this shit to her. Your ears, I, I guess. mean, there's not a lot of if room there, so maybe that's the reason. I'm firearms, not sure. She really should have an instructor there with her. Yeah, now, that's how it works for me. That scary, just Only was the near target, me the whole time. Just until you realize how scary they can be being swung I, around and then yeah. pointed near your brain basket. And, and if she, other people are still around her shooting. She still had her finger on the trigger, I think. It was still in this uh, trigger guard area. I mean, God she's damn doing it, brother! Damage or something. The That's damage crazy. Ears by not having proper hearing protection is nothing compared to the damage a one in a head grain nine millimeter projectile. Yes. Take the extra half second. Put put the gun down first. Now, if you're new here, at this point you might be thinking, "Well, this is why only trained police should have guns." Well, just wait till you see this next clip. Here we have an Indian, I think, cop, security guard. I don't know. Oh, the captions God. of these videos are all. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's always wrong, and I am shit at GeoGuessr. But yeah, if you can't tell, Homie is straight up resting well, his is arms actually a gun? on the barrel Why? of his shotgun. Now, Homie's balding. Words, okay, listen. Home He's balding, so this might be like a midlife crisis type of situation. He might be 25, just started to bald, and like, Fucking my life. I don't know about Andy, you. So you know where this is going. Is Life Leak still a thing? Oh. A homeboy. Wait. Ugh, Wait. What? Wait. This guy gun? basically obliterates his forearms. He gets a two for one special on reconstructive surgery. Oh my god, I just saw that. Oh. Surgery. Now, after the censorship, I don't know how much you were able to see. Sorry, Nalance, for making you watch that clip. But this gentleman now has Shit. two fresh new elbows what? and is leaving a trail of blood behind him as he's walking away oh to my. presumably get first aid. What's fucking horrible, well, I mean, I guess aside from the obvious, when he tries to grab his limp fucked up arm with his other limp fucked up arm, my mind immediately went, Open Gangnam Style. Oh, fucked up. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm glad I saw that sensor. Holy shit. I'm going to hell. And if you're still watching, I'll see you there. Anyhow, on to our next clip. And this one actually did when I saw this for the first time. This was a this was a holy shit. God, video that God is oh my. Can you reattach those? I know hands are really hard to reattach because there's so many things there, and usually when they reattach them, not everything works correctly because there's so many shits you gotta get correct. So here we have a bush, I mean, camouflaged gentleman, celebrating oh, the great that's American shotgun. pastime of Two trying shotguns. to murder the shit out of Bambi. With a shotgun? While in the middle of what I can only assume is him sitting there Wait, don't people usually use shotguns for birds? ...of his favorite venison recipes, a shot rings out, and our poor lad receives the spicy butt cheek. Oh, wait, who shot him in the ass? Bro, bro. Okay, so this is... So if you go hunting in Bulgaria, we have rules where 
basically this happened a couple of times last year i think in bulgaria so now they make everybody that goes hunting you gotta have a certain apparel that basically is like neon and shit so basically people can see you from very far away so this doesn't happen because this actually happened I think the homie died that they shot him. I don't remember where they shot him, but I had stories. I, I have some hunter friends. I hate the obvious, but that looked like it fucking hurt. Yeah, I mean, you gotta shine the ass. Maybe he doesn't have an ass anymore. The guy is gone. You see where the bullet hits gas. where his, his pants shake a little bit. That bullet had a little bit of ass behind it. <laughs> even <laughs> after going through That's the front of it of as well. <laughs> this guy, I legit feel a little bad. For. That's fucked. This guy didn't do oh, anything Oh, he didn't do it. Yeah, it's not his like, fault. Well, he wasn't wearing orange or some shit. But I'm not one to victim blame. Especially I mean, when the fault lies on some random asshole that's just shooting anything that moves without. Yeah, I mean, there's three people there. Target. Like, three people there he could have shot. That's like we said, fuck. one of the four basic rules what of gun was, safety. What do you know see that he wanted to shut that? Is he blind? Unless your target is intentionally the ass of some kid. Unless these guys are violent poachers or some shit and the assailant was a sniper Chris Kyling these assholes. Yeah, Occam's Razor says these guys were probably just hunters. Probably. And some asshole decided to vibe check this homie's thigh. So now it's time to finally name our Darwin oh, Award. Oh, God. And this one was actually so big. Okay, so first off, it, I, I don't think it can be worse than the forearm, dude. Because I'm going to be honest. I fucking, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, that, that thing scarred me. That, that was awful. And you guys oh, are international to flood world. my inbox with it. So <laughs> here we go. This one brings us halfway across the world. Poland. Oh, Poland. God. So apparently the commander in chief of the Polish police, a man by the name of General Jaroslav Wow. Yeah, it's that a, is not a bro. It's a Polish name. What did you expect? In fact, this is one of the Yaroslav Smitzik. Smitzik. It's one of the easier ones. A real Come on, name. man. It's a Polish Poland. name. <laughs> Ugly American here. I'm just gonna call him the general. So the general. The general. Over to Ukraine. To visit, had to take a couple meetings, general. talk about yeah. supporting them and such, yeah, okay. and came home with a rather unique gift. What was said gift? A decommissioned grenade. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. launcher. Look. Wait, I know where this is going. That's a smoke grenade launcher. Oh my god, was it loaded? Was it loaded? Oh god, no. Oh, you Poland, know where this is going. please no. So let's just get to the chase. No. The general returned to Poland with his shiny new gift and immediately discharged it in You're his office, sending right off a massive explosion. I can't even say that. Now, the Ukrainians and the general both swore up and down that this grenade was just a tube, it was inert, unfireable, what have you. The explosion, however, determined that that was a lie. Now here's the fucking weird part. Believe it or not, somehow this guy managed to survive. Oh shit! Because nice. holes are just fucking built different, I guess. That, uh, that's all I got. Listen, but Brandon, that is true. There is one dude in the UFC. He's like 45 and he's still whooping ass. It's crazy. He survived. Holes are making a Darwin award. Yeah, that one well, strongman. Because the Polish foreign minister literally called it one by name. Quote, it is true we will not win the World Cup, but thanks to the commander at Polish police, hey, yo. you're a favorite for the Number Darwin one. Award. That is a real tweet from Poland's former foreign minister. <laughs> well, Mr. Sikorski, I would hate to disappoint you. I deem the general the winner uh, of this episode. I mean, he survived, though. Awards, which relates back around to the third gun safety now. and apparently grenade launcher Instead. safety. Treat every gun and or grenade launcher as if it is loaded. Yes, please. Please check it. A little bit of the old Reagan saying, oh, sure. trust but verify. Hopefully you... Yeah, okay. Oh my god, bro, that forearm video. Okay, I'm curious. What, what do y'all think about this? Polish people? I know I have some Polish people watching my videos, so... Did y'all hear about that? How did it go? Or is he still on his job position? Or did he lose that job? Anyway, I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye! Holy shit, don't shoot a shotgun inside your forearms, in your hands. That's bad, okay?